Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, first off, I've got a little bit of bad news. Um, everything that you see here in this video, I lost it. Um, so I'm going to have to go back and uh, work on it. Um, but what I'm doing here is I'm just adding some just transformations. I moved the head down a little bit if you notice that. You can rewind. Um, and then I'm just kind of trying to figure out the, the best the best drawing for for this, trying to get the proportions just right. And so again, it takes a little bit of time, so I didn't want to make a really long video to to show you all of this. Um, mostly because if I'm talking, I can't concentrate on the drawing. So that's one thing that I recommend is whenever you are working on a drawing, to really concentrate on it. Um, <clears throat> try not to multitask. So I've liked the video on here. You can check out my liked videos and. Uh, this artist pretty much explains it. So what I've started doing here is now I'm just adding in some line work. So I'm just going in, adding in lines, taking my time with it, not going too fast. And so I keep doing that for a while. So I'm really upset that I lost it because I actually did like the, the line work that I had. Um, it's probably good for line work. I might just take a screenshot of this and just work it again um, once I once I have it done. So you'll notice that I'm just kind of going back in. If something doesn't look right, I'm fixing it. And for most of it, I'm just kind of uh, just using my eye, trying to make sure that the curves follow the forms. Here I did the that band that kind of drapes over the shoulder from the head. I decided not to add in the object just because I didn't know for sure if I wanted to make it a potion like I had there or if I want to make it something else. And then I move on. <clears throat> so... Um, one thing to keep in mind when doing this is just to just to make sure that your lines are fluid. You don't want to have part of the drawing be really angled and really straight lines, and then part of it be smooth lines. Unless, of course, um, you're drawing different objects and you're going for contrast. But, for example, for a single character like this, you might not want to have the pants be very blocky um, with sharp angles and have the rest of the clothes look smooth and drapey. So again, consider the whole as you do this, so that as you keep adding your lines and keep adding more to the drawing, it's all going to fit together. So here we go. I added the legs. It's trying to keep the, the billowy, the billowy pants. I lightly added in the the sword slash dagger because I wasn't I wasn't completely sure on the design. And so here I'm looking at reference, trying to get the boots. One thing to keep in mind that is a very rookie mistake that I see a lot of my students doing is placing the feet on a flat angle. The only reason that you would see the feet um straight horizontal would be if you are on the ground looking at the feet, um, but then the rest of the perspective would get distorted. Um, you would be looking up at the character. In this case, our perspective is about shoulder level, um, a little bit higher than that or a little bit lower than that. And so you would be looking down at the feet, and you would not actually see flat feet, but you would actually see the forms of it as it sits in space. So again, I'm just kind of working in uh, the lines, getting shapes in there, using the eraser to kind of soften out shapes or um, do things like that. Anyways. Um, that's it. I hope that you have enjoyed this, and uh, I'll probably be back with a completely different drawing next time. Thanks!